Hey everybody. So Tim and I are having a bit of a light supper tonight. We are having butter vegetables. Well, technically it is butter chicken. Butter chicken. But I'm doing it vegan with coconut milk, um, chickpeas, and then a whole bunch of vegetables that I've taken photos of because it's from our garden. But the problem is, is I love, I love it, but it's not pretty. But I thought I would show you some pretty stuff. We're growing two radishes. These are just ordinary, uh, I think they're called Bonnie Bell red radishes. This is called a Chinese fruit radish, and it's green and white. And it's supposed to be this way. Now, I think I planted them too early because I'm supposed to leave them till the frost hits and they're supposed to get sweeter. They're definitely not sweet radishes. They're just ordinary radishes. But what we're going to do is we're going to dice them up and have them just sort of sprinkled on top of our butter vegetables. So for my vegan friends, if you're watching this and I say butter chicken, it's because that's what's on the package, but we're doing it uh, vegan tonight with coconut milk and lots of vegetables and a can of chickpeas. It's just not pretty to show you. So I've got our four in one mandolin and I'm going to use the thin blade. And just to change it, you just press this lovely little button here at the back and it pops out or you can just put it back in as easy as that. Now obviously I don't want to hold the radish because I like my fingers. So I've got the Epicure Guard. So I'm going to skewer, I'm gonna find the flat side, and I'm gonna skewer my radish. And I'm gonna to try to do it slowly so you can see it. Okay, if you do it too slowly, it comes off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter with a little bit more of a base. There we go. Seems I can do it quick, I just can't do it slow. And I am getting these lovely paper thin slices of radish. And it's just, oh, it's gorgeous. And this is going to look so wonderful put on top of our butter vegetables. There, I'll finish that later on. But look at that. You could practically read a, I can almost see through it. So that is, is that not just the prettiest? So now I want to do my Chinese radish. It's called a Chinese fruit radish. And when you're putting it on here, you do want to have a flat base and you can see the pointy prongs. So you want to stick it on to the pointy prongs. That was my mistake last time. I didn't actually put it on the prongs. So then I hold it like this so that as I'm grating, my hand will push it down. So, let's see if I can, so you can see it's going this side. Now let's see if I can line this up. There we go. Hopefully you can see it coming off. Because from this angle, I can't actually see the uh, screen on my phone. But, there we go. Now I can take this and I can re-skewer it there. And I can get some more pieces. The first few are a little bit rough because it's in the round. After that, there we go. Okay, so I will finish this off camera, but I want to show you, like these are stunning. 
So we have these and we're going to put these on top of our butter vegetables. And that is the Epicure 4-in-1 Mandolin. This is with the thinnest plate. So if I wanted to make myself potato chips or carrot chips or broccoli stem chips, this is the plate that I would use. We do have a little bit thicker one that I use when I'm doing scallop potatoes. Well, scallop carrots, actually. And, or uh, we have the two different sizes of julienne as well, so... That's the great thing. It's all multi-purpose, because I don't think you would have thought of doing really thinly sliced radishes. But a little bit of radish is really tasty. Too big a bite of radish? Like, I'm sorry, is that going to be enjoyable to bite into? You don't need to see me making faces. Anyway, I will finish this off camera, because this is the part that I'm a little bit slower at, and I don't want to... Um, I want to really actually concentrate on what I'm doing because the blade is sharp. Anyway, thanks everybody. Bye.